Webflow, we're going to talk about how to set up the open graph settings and more specifically, how to set up the open graph image. So you'll see that's all the way down here at the bottom. What is the open graph image? Let's take a look at what that is. So as you can see, I've grabbed a screenshot of Twitter here for the No Code Fundamentals MakerPad course. And when they shared their link for makerpad.co, this image that appears along with the description is this open graph image. So this is the image that we're going to set. That way when you're sharing on social media, i.e. Twitter or Facebook, LinkedIn, all these platforms, you get this nice image that pops up along with the text. So let's go back over to Webflow and take a look at some of the things that we need to get this set up. So we're back in Webflow and I'm under the homepage settings. A couple of things that you need to do to get this set up appropriately to share across platforms is to be sure that you're setting your title tag and meta description and that you're checking the same as SEO title tag and same as SEO meta description for the open graph settings. This will ensure that you're sharing everything across both platforms using the same description. If you'd like to edit those, you certainly can. Just come in and uncheck it and then adjust what that title says. Now, this is a good idea if you have a separate page that's for an event or a newsletter you wanna make very specific, you can go ahead and make that open graph setting specific. But for this tutorial, we're gonna keep everything the same. Once we have all those settings, we have to ensure that we have an image to put in here. So what I've done is put together, let me close this, put together a nice little smaller image of what we're selling here. You want this to be descript and not overwhelming so that it's easily scannable when you're on social media. So let's take a look at that. I'm over here in Figma and as you can see, I've put together the correct sizing per Webflow for 1200 by 630 pixels and gone ahead and set up my open graph image. You can use whatever tool you would like, but just be sure that you're using at least 1200 by 630 pixels and then you're going to want to export this image. So once you have the image exported, you do need to upload it back to Webflow. Let's go back to Webflow and take a look at it. We're back in Webflow now and you can see I've opened up the assets panel and I'm here on images. And this first image, if we open the gear icon, we can see that this is my open graph image. It is set to 1200 by 630, and I've gone ahead and given it a description. Now, that's all we need to do, and the next thing we need to do is get our URL. This is really easy from Webflow. There are two options to do it. You can use this little pop-out box here, which will open it up in another window, as you can see. So you would just copy this URL, and then come back over to your page, open your gear icons, and scroll down to your open graph image and paste it there. As you can see, as soon as we've done that, it gives you a preview and shows you what your text looks like, what your image looks like, and if everything looks good, go ahead and hit save. There is another way to get this URL as well. If we come back over to the assets panel, and open up our gear icon again. This little link here, if you click that, it will copy that link and that is the same URL. So either way, I do like to preview it in a separate window just to make sure everything looks good, but you can also just paste that URL here. As you can see, it's exactly the same. Either method will get you your open graph image URL and now you have your preview. As you can see, this is the image that shows up on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Google+. You can change this image at any time, but there may be a delay in how quickly that image is updated on these services. You would need to check with each service in order to see if additional steps need to be taken to update that image faster. So long story short, you're gonna to wanna to be sure that this is the image you want to use before you go ahead and hit publish. Once you have everything how you like it, go ahead and hit save and then adjust as needed for any of the additional pages. Keep in mind that if you're sharing a specific page or link that does not have that open graph URL set, you won't get an image when you're sharing that particular site from your page. 
So you're gonna to wanna to be sure that you set all of them for those that you want. But as you can see, you can use the same image over and over again. Just be sure that you're also updating the title tag and meta description for each page. That is how you set the open graph settings on Webflow. Till next time, bye. Thank you.